Hey y'all, I've got another awesome video for you guys. It's a blind awareness video today. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys, not necessarily a review of the Keurig, but I'm going to show you guys how a blind person makes coffee in the Keurig. And I don't know what model Keurig this is, but it doesn't matter. It's just one with buttons, so it's very accessible. And I've got all my ingredients here. I've got my Splenda, my cream. I've got everything up here. Um, not sure if you want to move close to show all my ingredients. But I got everything up here. My cup, it's orange cup from Dollar Tree. <laughs> and everything. So, I'm going to start off by explaining the Keurig here. Um, for those of you who do not have a Keurig or are interested in how blind people know how to operate machinery like this, not machinery, but an appliance, is there's a lid right here, a lid right here. you open this, and this is where you put your pod, so I'm going to put my pod, coffee pod, right in there, all right, now I'm going to start with my cup, where did you, oh, I put it in there, see, blind moment, okay, I had it in there, and I just forgot. So, blind brain fart. Okay, so I'm putting my Splenda in right now. I've got four of these bad boys, and I'll clean that up in just a minute. Then, I want to show you guys how my hands are clean. I do have a lip. I had a lift liquid level indicator at one point, but I don't right now. So, I use clean hands for the creamer. Now, let's test and see. Nope, that's not enough yet. So pour some more. Mm, yep, it's getting there. And rinse my little thingy off. Okay. So now I've got my coffee and creamer in. Put that right there. And guess what I have to do, y'all? I got to fill this thing up. Because it is low. So I got this little kitchen sprayer, and again, I have my hand just barely inside, so I know where the water level is, and I haven't pressed a button, so all it should start doing is warming up, because I always keep it on auto on. That's good enough, and I'll show you guys the buttons real quick. So... This is the auto off, and it's on the very top right. There's a panel on the right side here. There's auto off. Then next down right here is the um, on off. You can actually physically manually turn it on or off. And then you got a 10 ounce, eight ounce, and six ounce going from your right to your left on the bottom three vertical uh, horizontal buttons. So this bad boy can hold a 10 ounce. So you got to reset the Keurig by lifting the lid. Pod's already in. I'm going to press the 10 ounce button. See this, this is very accessible. Um, this it used to be my in-laws Keurig. I used to have one exactly like it. I sold it, got a new one, and I made sure that it was accessible. There, um, this is new to me. It's not new to me, really, but it was new to me when they gave it to me. And it's almost exactly like mine. And this should start brewing any second. Yep, there it goes. I know this Keurig making coffee isn't really an amazing thing to most people, but, you know, me being blind and doing these things can be amazing to some people. So I really want to get this out there that you can do things you can make coffee you can clean your own house you can do your own laundry blind people are very capable people we are very capable and if we've been trained properly in independence and living skills it can be done i just want you guys to know that this getting a spoon here that this is very possible for anybody who wants to do it? And I'm sure this is very full. Yeah. And we'll stir this bad boy up and we'll give it a try. And I need to put that back on the lid on.
Mm-hmm. Yep, that's good. So, okay, folks, that is basically, in a nutshell, how a blind folk operate the Keurig. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and share to your heart's content and spread the word that blindness is possible.